So speaking for myself and to tell you what helped me, hopefully it can help you too because everyone's different, everyone heals a different way. So what I did was therapy, journaling, I did a lot of things to kind of distract myself so that that time can pass and it just, as day goes by, it just gets easier, right? As long as you keep yourself busy and you're actually working on yourself. You really gotta accept like what has really happened, you know, educate yourself on narcissism and go through that process. Healing is definitely not easy. You know, there was a time where, you know, I looked back and I've come a long way and next thing you know, um, I feel like I didn't really move forward much, but I kept pushing myself. I kept staying consistent on what I was doing. Whenever you go through these emotions, if you push yourself over that and get past that, it gets easier. But if you can never push yourself over that speed bump, then you're always gonna stop there, right? And let me tell you, it's not just that one speed bump. After you get through that one, there's probably 10 more. Through my healing journey, I was able to create some activity workbooks, a journal, and a yearly calendar. They are available on Amazon. This one right here is the Let's Dig Deep, the self-love and reflection activity workbook. For the journal, I've created the Feel It to Heal It. I also have here Affirmations and Self-Love Workbook. That's for children. Here we have another activity workbook. It's called It Starts With You. And this one here is the yearly calendar, planner, self-care planner, budget planner. Again, they are all available on Amazon.